back to Real Talk Adelaide Hunger Pains event. Adelaide, are we having a good time tonight? Yeah. 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 Now we're getting into a sick battle, but first, uh, these people. Beautiful people next to Kamira, Real Talk Adelaide. Shout out to the Spot Barbers at 75A Commercial Road, Port Adelaide. Thank you for your support. Gospel. Yeah, there's nothing to say, really. It's all good. Awesome. Yes. Blank. Keep Absolutely sure. blank. Bella on my right, repping Sydney City. Yeah. yeah. Rep, uh, introduce yourself, my man. Okay. All right, <laughs> uh, man. First of all, I'd like to give a special shout out to my brother. He's locked up right now, but he's gonna not gonna see this until he's out of jail. So with that in mind, <laughs> fuck you, Lockie. Why'd you go to jail, you dickhead? <laughs> Go off the jackets. Go! Oh, yes. nice. yeah. That was so dope. Battler to my left, all the way from Unley. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's fucking yeah. yeah. Yo, it's Ermac, man. Bat Dirt Dan. Yeah. No. no, it's this superhero I drew. <laughs> See, it's got a beard and muscles. <laughs> and I sent it to Marvel, but they haven't written back yet. Oh, man. Man. Yeah! Nice! Alright. Yeah. 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 Do chose to go first. Let's get it. Yeah. Yo, I'm from a place yeah. where some of the best cunts with a pen from. That real life Sin City. Bruz, it is red hot. Nothing but some junkies and bent cops. Since Barzo 2 started dropping their shit. But for some reason, we've had a ton of our rep lost. But if you think I ain't down with Sydney Battle Rap, brother, you're dead wrong. I'm just here to make sure all you motherfuckers respect sloth. So get ready. <laughs> so get ready for an entire battle. That's three whole rounds, man. Nothing but end bombs. You fucking nagger. You look like you get about 15 seconds into the beep test before timing out. <laughs> Breathing getting hyper. Wow, doctor's checking his vitals now, but Ermac, I ain't come here to burn fat. Cam Spark, this matchup, you did not earn that. Had to put your name on my list just to strike it out. Like what? What? You think I got hype about flying down from my hometown to spit fat jokes for three entire rounds and literally anyone with a working set of eyes can fucking see this guy as round? <laughs> Dude, you're large enough to have your own orbit. <laughs> it's hard to get my mind around sun. <laughs> okay. Oh. Heart going at 300 miles an hour. I don't think this guy works out much. The fat dirtbag Dan, what? You just, just openly referencing heads that you bite your style from? <laughs> Look, I'm more unique. My steve's wildin' out, bro. <laughs> I've been off the wall from the jump like Icy Tower. And I heard your music. It's generic as fuck, bro. You make some boring stuff. That standard Australian template, I ain't conforming to. I've been, I'm insane. My thoughts been spun the fuck out since my mother put Datura in my baby formula. Catching bodies counts, outlines, tally the score when I chalk him up. Which would take hours because you are enormous cunt. <laughs> King of the ring. Got that book of Steve C's. Ermac, your style's about as original as a fucking Wolverine beat. <laughs> That's good. If you know, you know. And you're, <laughs> and you're such a fucking fat MC, it's no wonder how you're still stuck in the underground, battling against gravity, too fucking round and heavy to tunnel out hunger pains. <laughs> when your stomach growls, bruz, it sounds like thunderclouds. I bet Cam only got him to battle me by paying a salary out of his stash of heaps old KFC double downs. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Make some noise, Adelaide. Yeah. 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 We got the first round on her, Mac. Let's get it. <laughs> Yo, you'd think I'd a fetish for feces. <laughs> what? Because if you chat shit, you'll get banged. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What the fuck? So let me guess, you got a hunger pains bar about me being fat, bro? That's dope. Mate, I ain't had hunger pains in years. Always keep a snack close. Fat bloke with an asthma, head to the grave coffin. Mate, oh fuck, head to the grave coffin. I, I get impatient when it comes to food. I guess you could say I've got a weight problem. <laughs> so on the forum, he's the popular guy. Well, I'm kind of a shy dude. Keep to myself while he's commenting funny shit. Got him thinking, this guy's cool. <laughs> got him thinking, this guy's cool. So it looks like it's the popular guy up against the quiet fool. Shit, why does this battle remind me so much of high school? <laughs> no. You can do this. Uh, <laughs> ain't allowed to co-host no more. Because <laughs> I get too sloshed. 
Always keep yeah. that drink close to chin like a rescue dog. Ooh. Man, this boy chicken, consider this a slow roast and I'll be having my bro choking like me when I'm co-hosting. <laughs> No boasting, but I got what it takes to produce hits. Always come with them clever bars and that true wit. Want to know how it's done? I'll break your thumbs, give them the blueprints. Like when the artist formerly known as got sad. Yeah, that's a blueprint. Get it? <laughs> clever. <laughs> Temple tap. Yo, I say shit that's never been done before. Your mum's a whore. <laughs> never catch me saying anything cliche. He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's gay. Yes, all right. I said all right. Oh, no. Uh, time, time, time. Sorry. Make some noise out of the way. Yeah. Oh. Look, I've been on a good run this year. Three owed competitors, no contenders. You haven't been for a run in years. I'm fairly sure he won't be stepping up. I doubt he'll ever be satisfied by the oppos he's getting. By the looks of him, homie's fed up. But your music is one area in which you've showed progression. Congratulations, bro. Good to see that shit's finally paid off. For repping that shit like a pro, you get to be the first person ever signed to morbidly obese records. <laughs> you better use that deal, kid. I heard that track you made. Real? Shit. <laughs> that track you made was real shit. You ain't musically talented, too afraid to break the rules. You ended up pushing out some generic bullshit in an attempt to be relatable, but I saw the video clip. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Your boring ass song, Shorty Get Saved by a bunch of cameos from rappers no one who doesn't watch Australian battles knows. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got fuck all chance of maintaining the hype, man. You only really get spots because of your crew. I mean, I wish them the best of luck. They're the homies like that, but you know this guy's chances have been gambled away since propping his career up as just a roll of dice, gang. Mm -hmm. By the way, take it from a battler who makes tracks. Every battler who makes tracks is straight whack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've done everything to push that generic-ass Australian style forward, except for improve. Look, I ain't hating on the legacy, dude. I'm repping AUS and whatever I do, like fuck whatever Vice Land Sagan on SBS2. You can still catch me grilling snags up in the Centrelink queue. No. <laughs> Ermac sucks. <laughs> ain't no one who ain't from Adelaide done heard about this fat fuck. Dude, if your name held as much weight as your waist, I'd be a lot more stoked about this matchup. You're large enough to be a planet. Your biography would be an atlas. It's a fact, bro. <laughs> People think they're looking at the equator when he uses a belt to hold his pants up. <laughs> and there ain't no bitches out there who want to make it with you. You're blatantly huge. Think about what he'd be like in the sack. They'd be crushed by the weight of this dude. No woman deserves that. I reckon any time any bird has been attracted to Ermac, that girl's trapped in his gravitational pull. <laughs> make some noise. Woo! Yo, come here, come here a minute. You're my... <laughs> yeah, why are you matching with this weak poser? He's the type to say something cliche and lean over to the league owner and be like, yo, why are you matching with such a weak poser? <laughs> Man, I came here tonight to throw down, but this isn't a pillow fight, this is kill or die. I come up against Alex thinking you Superman while my ink is lined with kryptonite. Oh. Bitch, I sleep on those sleeping. Like this rhyme shit inception, this divine intervention. We four, five, six collective. Fuck her, Mac. Must be reptile, cause my spit's a weapon. I'll tell him where to go, and if this guy disrespected, he'll get a left, right, good night if he sleep on me when I give directions. Yeah, boy. Now he from Sydney, but we'll forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's a war, I guess, then you'll be throwing up east side. And they say harmony's best taken by force. So I'll cut off each finger till it turns to a peace sign. Yo, be silent or be silenced. Ain't condoning that street violence. Homes where I'm seen writing. Token on weed, vibe and smoke green like I'm doing drive-bys on Beast Boy from the Teen Titans. Mm. And the green got my eyes looking more Asian than Caucasian. <laughs> that's only to get me looser than a suit that's bought for your court cases. So step back if you don't want your jaw breaking because I used to be a boxer but I quit on the fourth day in because the coach would always tell me to hit the showers. I'd be like, ugh. More training. <laughs> and also for one fight, I require like four weigh-ins. <laughs> Everyone just thinking I'm Ness's assistant will start calling me Igor. Well, let me tell you, there ain't much difference between us, except that I eat more. <laughs> but if you think you got this locked, homie, you better be sure, because if it ain't cream safe, I'll be straight through your screen door. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry I tried to be tough. <laughs> <laughs>
You succeeded. <laughs> Look, I treat this battle shit like a joke. I don't write no empty threats. I won't hide from anyone. My life is stressful. I might as well just smile and spit. And besides that, tough talk ain't never survived the test. It was ever applied. It's mild at best. Last time, someone wanted to catch me outside. Well, I nearly ended up going inside. Suspended that. 21 <laughs> months hanging over my head. Still like the stress. One month before, I battled off and I clinically died. But then I came back from the other side of heaven. Because I'm so ahead of my time. I've already denied my time of death. And you get body bagged by a flight of steps. <laughs> <laughs> Malevolent giant, the level that I am, you'll never be where I'm on. Cholesterol overdose, this ain't COD, you're not being respawned. So the way I see it now, you're fucked. Like POV porn. <laughs> see, Mac got it backwards on cam. I guess it's cool that you don't act like you're gassed, but you take that shit too far. I give him props on my bars and you bubble it like, nah, I'm actually whack. Start flipping my shit like I'm also a bit of a bitch and I don't think you really spit enough shit about the fact that I'm fat. <laughs> Which I did. Um, that's a bit of a gronk move when you're meant to insult dudes. We all know you'll never make any legitimate songs, dude. I mean, look, there's only one ill Mac. And it's not you. <laughs> Yo, I am an angel urns with a godforsaken person Satan worships. You got that self-deprecation? Word. Well, that ain't replacing verses. You're just a lazy wordsmith. I've rinsed this motherfucker. Every phrase I'm murking with straight detergent. It's kind of like your last battle. You know that fat ass angle? Yeah, pizza delivery. Cam made the call and I came to serve him. Yeah. See, I don't fuck with firms. Tell him break a leg if diabetes doesn't first. <laughs> <laughs> Betty practices for his battles like, how the fuck am I going to make all these chokes and stumbles perfect? I <laughs> I hope the crowd hates my shit. I mean, if I don't come across like an awkward fucking nerd, then none of this is going to work. <laughs> and look, I can laugh at myself too. Carlos will tell you how I manage to stay fit. I only buy my shard from the health foods. <laughs> <laughs> but how fucking funny is your weight going to be when your heart up and fails you? Yeah, they blame cardiac arrest for his terminal cause of death after I send him to the urn or the morgue when I 3-0 Ermac like an emergency call. <laughs> That's some actual shit. Look, I'm happy to diss him, but with Ermac is so simple, this motherfucker does my job for me. So I can just kick back for a bit and relax while you spit. Body bag, 3-0. In front of the cameras and shit, we all watch you wash yourself with a rag on a stick. Make some noise on the line. We've got the third and final on Ermac, let's get it. Yeah, my boy's got triggers. <laughs> and my man's out to pull it and I'm quick to throw arms like I ran out of bullets. Yo, this cat got claws, make these pussies turn to victims. When I hold my Beretta Cheetah, all you hear is <laughs> like a purring kitten. <laughs> Looking like you get your fashion and clothes from the Adelaide show. I bet you got track pants that say addicted and a hat with graph that says dope. <laughs> you look like you'd have a Southern Cross tattoo and wear high vis as a fashion statement. You look like you'd have a mullet or ratty, white knight kicks and he has a statesman. Man's best friend, please. This guy's a dog, get it? Carlos the Jackal? Half animal, half man banter. Leave marks on my hand, slap ya. Funny how I wore the shirt in the last battle, but you're looking more George since I can't stand ya. <laughs> Yo, I get... Yo, I get props for how I kick it. Bitch, man, you kick it hardly. So don't be upset when I get the thumbs up for the kicks like Elaine dancing at Christmas parties. <laughs> Yo, but I ain't getting the look in just because of a dumb dance. This up-and-comer has everything coming up. Millhouse and flood pants. Yes. No. So hot, I'll be letting off steam. Damn. Slow it down. <laughs> no, I said we were having some steamed hams. <laughs> what? You think I'll go out without a Simpsons bar? This bitch be tripping. That's as unlikely as an Aurora Borealis at this time of the day, at this time of the year, in this part of the country, localised entirely within your kitchen. Yeah. Fuck a jackal. Let's go. Yo, fuck a jackal. I came here to eradicate you. So better pray you're more man like a latter day do. Yo, this day is for the boys. But you ain't part of my Saturday crew, because I only fuck with real animals. So I'm banned from the Adelaide Zoo. <laughs> Yo, I got mature humour, the type to make a grown man laugh. Catch a glimpse of this horny creature with a beard, like a goat ran past. Yo, I'm so sorry. Yo, yo, yo you got no ladies like me. <laughs> if you a lone man, it's art the way I play Spider Woman, like I'm Joan Van Ark. 
So don't mess with me, brother. You don't want to catch it when I throw them arms with a Whoa. Sorry, my cat sat on my laptop when I wrote that part. Yeah, yeah. No. We were really talking about Adelaide Hunger Pains, and then we had the funniest battle of the night. Yeah, probably. Between. <laughs> Good work. All right. Go well, deep. How did you feel coming to Adelaide for the first time, knowing you're from Sydney, and that yeah. nobody likes Sydney, apparently? Well, you see. I don't even like Sydney, so that's cool. <laughs> nah, Sydney's alright, I guess. No, I mean, it, it was good. I've never been to Adelaide before. Yep. Like, I mean, you know, there wasn't really much to go to in Adelaide before you guys started doing all this sort of shit. Uh, I wasn't going to churches. Yeah? Somewhat. Yeah, no, nah, but, um, yeah, no, it was good. Like, it was kind of like, it was a bit big. It was like jumping into the deep end, man, because, like, people were like, oh, yeah, you're bursting Ermac. Like, like, Elusive literally told me, like, 50 times, bursting Ermac in Adelaide is suicide. And I was like, man, oh, I think I'm going to do all right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, so sad, I'm doing it. I'm multi, man, that was nice. What are, you, are, you gonna rhyme, are you gonna rhyme your response to how you feel about your battle with him? I'd probably choke. Yeah? So, no. <laughs> uh, how do we... you feel after the battle? Are both of you? <laughs> I guess. Oh my God. Oh. Both of you two, I'm about not, that battle you just did, how do you feel? I'm not a yeah, journalist. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I, honestly, I still hate him. No, you know. how do you feel I don't blame you're a rascal? Hate you, bro. How do you feel battling him now like, that you've done it? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm not allowed to do fucking co-hosting, you're not allowed no, to do interviews anymore. No, I'm already giving you shit on this, no. no. Cam's one. Sweet. No, I um, well, I'm feeling pretty okay. good now that it's fucking over. Like, I was so jittery and then like at the end of my fucking first I fucking choked and I was like no so I had to time out but I felt good man I felt yeah I have a question for both of you like coming into this battle both knowing that you had the comedic angle was it did that add more pressure to the battle oh fuck I like do you feel the same uh, probably like, not to him well, but it it's was like yeah to me it was like I can't really out comedy him because he's kind of just known for comedy and it's like I'm not gonna like I don't know, like, uh, I'm trying to sort of work on doing more different stuff, like not being just a jokes battle, back, like way back when I used to battle when I was a drug addicted mess. Um, <laughs> people used to be like, now yeah, I'm oh, just a mess. Now I'm just a regular mess, it's all good. Um, yeah, people used to just be like, oh, he's just got jokes and shit. You know, but at least they're clever jokes. But yeah, so now I'm trying to do a bit more like, sort of just diversify my bonds, man. Definitely, how do you feel you went Wu Tang Financial. Was that? that? How do I feel like right, I went? You know, because, you know, changing your whole writing structure is yeah. going to be a big thing at times. Yeah, it's, 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 it's more like an evolution, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like working in funny shit, but then like having a serious build up and then like, it's, it's hard work, man, you know, I need a scholarship or some shit for it, but um, Definitely, yeah, it doesn't pay the bills. What stresses did you feel going into the battle, knowing that he's in the top five forum posters? That Comments. Well, uh, that scared me a lot. Yeah. It was very, it, like I said, it was very popular. Yeah, and I don't talk on there because yeah. I'm scared of interaction with people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I just just coming into the whole battle, like battle itself, man. I was very like, because he is funny. So like, and that's literally all I, I've got. So it's like, fuck you. I need this. I have nothing else going for me. You cannot do this. So I tried, you know, flipping it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably didn't work. I tried being tough at the end of one of my rounds and I got scared probably more than he did. But yeah, it was You're like a snake. Yeah. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Isn't that bears? <laughs> bear tactics. Cam, I told you. Bear but no, tactics. it was a fucking good battle man. I was very very happy with it.